Hey guys, John 2.0 from Bad Security Survival. And do you have saw envy because you're carrying something like this? Well, I got something for you. Let's do this. So there you are, walking through the woods with your Baco Laplander. Great saw, by the way. I've had this for one of the first videos we did. Yeah, years and years. Great saw, but I'm like walking, like walking around, and all of a sudden I see something in the corner of my eye, and it's like this ethereal light's hitting me, and it's blinding me, and I get jealous because they have this. <laughs> is that in frame? <laughs> This is, this is the there you go. Silky Big Boy 2000. And I was, when I was looking at the Baco, I was looking at getting the Gomboy because it was one of the top three. The Corn, that was the, the Coronado, the Gomboy, and then the Baco, and I was convinced to buy the Baco. And if I would have known what I'd known back then, I would have gotten this. I'm going to cover it real quick from, from the back to the front. It has a nice ergonomic handle, kind of curved blade or a curved handle. Two position locking thing there's really no safety on it like on the back where you have to press a button so there is issues if you get too high but we cut with it plenty of times so there's no hasn't clasped my hand at all 14 inch blade or so a little longer than that with five and a half inch five and a half teeth per inch so that is large teeth per inch too so every inch has five teeth which just crushes and cuts into the wood and what makes this unique is versus something like the Baco was this is a pull it's called a pull stroke cut so it doesn't the Baco cut on the on the push and the pull this is just on the pull so there's a little bit of learning curve to it where you get a little bit of the binding and bending until you get it and I tell you like the comparison is is completely I mean obviously different size but the, it's just night and day and everything that I care for I still carry the Baco as a backup but Everything I was doing with the Baco was, I can do with this. There's no issues and stuff the Baco couldn't, can't do, like chop down trees. And I think we'll have some video of that in there too. And uh, yeah, amazing. So if you guys are in the market for a saw, I highly suggest this. So you can be awesome, like John 2.0. I'm going to show you guys the teeth real quick. And this is what makes that so effective is... These proprietary teeth and as you can see the edge is only facing the pull it i got nothing bad to say about these saws that's the only issue is they super sharp so be very very careful because if you do catch that and claps on your hand you are probably going to the hospital for some stitches but if you have a different opinion of it let me know drop it in the comments below don't click like subscribe notifications so you get more cool videos about cool saws check out our facebook page there you have it. Till next time, make yourself ready.